Hello, welcome to this video from Server Assist. In this video today, we're going to be completing our series of the American region players. This week, we're going to be looking at the forwards, following on from our previous videos of goalkeepers, defenders, and midfielders. So please check them out if you've not seen those videos yet. Okay, let's get stuck into it. If you do like the video, remember to like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And if you've not signed up to Survey yet, there is a link in the description below if you did wish to do that. Okay then, so the first player we're going to look at today is Matias Suarez. Okay, so he plays for River Plate, which is in the Argentinian League. I've not actually followed this guy, so I'm going to do that now. <laughs> well, remember, he's only 32. As you can see from his last um, five games here, this is obviously quite recent as well. 69, 79, a couple of low scores there, but a 73 as well here. Which is fantastic there, shows his, um, his quality. And that's just in the last five. So if we're looking at the cards then, let's see what we've um, the price have been going for. So there's a couple of expensive options there, but we should be able to get them cheaper than that. 27 days ago, someone got him for 26 quid. That is absolutely fantastic. 18 days, oh that's a super rare. Eight days ago, 66. Two days, 77. As you can see, the prices are going up, probably on the back of those uh, recent performances. But it was showing qualities before that as well. 103 here but for a forward who's getting those numbers this is still a cheap price okay so in the, in the current market um you you are looking between probably 100 to 300 pound for a decent forward um but this guy is showing some decent scores there so around 100 price 100 pound price that is still a bargain okay all these videos that we are selecting are mid to budget price players um Previous videos are obviously based around that as well. Okay, let's have a look at the next player. We've got Freddie Montero here. Plays for Vancouver in the MLS. As you can see, a few average scores there, but if you look at his previous scores, he's capable of scoring the high numbers, as demonstrated here, with a max score of 100. He's 33, um, but don't worry too much about that. Um, MLS is obviously a bit of an easier league than other leagues. So and he is expected to play this upcoming season as well. So someone bought him seven days ago, thirty-eight pound. That's fantastic. Twenty-eight days ago, twenty-six pound. As you can see, we're talking under fifty pound here for a quality player who is capable of scoring these high numbers here. Next player we're going to look at is Gustavo Bu. He plays for the New England um, team in America, MLS. As you can see, he's got um, fantastic, two big fantastic scores here. 81 and 88, which is brilliant. He is only 30 as well. Let's have a look at what sort of price we can get this player for. So 141, a couple of um, big offers there in the secondary market. Let's just have a look at the recent purchases, see what sort of price we're talking about on the auctions. Two, uh, that's two months ago. Uh, 8 days ago 104, 14 days ago 82, 18 days ago 20, 72, 28 days ago 30 pound. Um, but you're probably looking at around the 100 pound mark for this guy I would say with the obviously the MLS um, season being more in people's man, minds as the um, season approaches. Seven seven pound here, so you're talking between eighty to hundred pound for, uh, like I say, another quality forward who is capable of these sort of scores. Okay. Next player we've got is Cap Capa Pelabla. Sorry about the pronunciation there. Um, he plays for Philadelphia in the MLS. Only twenty seven. As you can see, he's got 90 here and 64, 52, which isn't too bad. Um, but he is capable of these high scores um, on, a, on a quite a regular basis, really. If we look at his cards, um, see what sort of price we're going to be paying for this guy. 125 there, which isn't that bad, really, for a, a, a forward in the current market. But we do want to, of course, look at an auction uh, purchase, if possible, because you can get them... Um, generally cheaper on the auction so it's, it is it, sometimes it is better to be patient okay 28 days ago 58 pound 20 days ago 76 75 pound 13 days ago so he's approaching that although this one nine days ago they got for 60 odd pound 
But between sixty and hundred pound, I'd be quite happy to pay that for another quality forward. And like I say, he is only twenty seven as well. So the final player we've got is Johnny Russell. He plays for Kansas in the MLS again in America. He's only 30. As you can see, he's got a 63 here, 58, which is good as well. And if you check his previous scores, you will see that he's capable of getting these high green numbers on a regular basis as well. One on the secondary market there for 100. That's not too bad. You could maybe put a cheeky bid in there. Um, secondary market... Um, sorry, the primary market, there was a sale here for £87 12 days ago, which is a good price. Again, you're probably going to be looking um, between £80 to £100 is the sort of price bracket you want to be looking at for this guy, um, based on what we're seeing here. 14 days ago, £80. 8 days ago, 106 101 12 days ago. As you can see, that's another value price for a forward in today's market. Okay, that's the five forwards covered for this week. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share and subscribe at the bottom. And also please um, sign up via the link in the description if you've not done that already to get your free 10 common cards. Okay, as always, thanks for joining me and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Bye for now.